What is it for you, Luke? I think it's it's continue on the path we were on. We were, we are we are trending in a positive direction in, in pretty much all facets. Uh, you know, it's a tricky game tonight uh, for both teams. Just with one practice yesterday evening, and um, and right back to it. That 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 is, you know, a difficult thing to navigate. So I don't want to overload them with messaging. You know, I want to keep it clear and simple, and and try to allow them uh, an opportunity to play free and. And simply share the ball, work together defensively. Um, we can adjust as the game goes on, but I don't want to overload them to start the game with too many thoughts and messages because it is a, you know, a difficult scenario. Um, and so I just want to give them the best chance to come out and, and and try to find that rhythm again. Seeing the way the Celtics are playing leading up into the break, what jumps out at you? You know, you have a very different team than you had in the first meeting between between you two. Well, you know, they're just uh, they're such capable players. Um, you know, you look at, uh, uh, you know, Tatum and Brown, uh, Kemba Walker and Marcus Smart back. This is the healthiest they've been, I think, all year for tonight. So, um, you know, we're, we're well aware of what they're capable of and that they've been at this for a few years together. So it's a terrific challenge for us. And uh, we got to come to play because they're not going to beat themselves. Greg Logan, Newsday. Hi, Steve. Uh, you have, I think, five guys on the expanded uh, Olympic roster, you know, who want to participate. Uh, is that something that you would encourage them to do, or do you worry about uh, any injuries that are for non-NBA play or anything like that? And, and is there any reaction to that? Uh, no, if the players want to play and represent their country, I think it's, uh, you know, it's it's great. So, you know, there's always there's a risk to get injured anytime you play basketball, and if they're not playing in the Olympics, they'll be playing hopefully in a in a gym somewhere, staying sharp and working on their game. So, uh, we take risks all the time as players, and and I, if our guys have the the dream or you know, the will to want to play in the Olympics and are fortunate enough to be on the squad, I, I wouldn't want to take that away from them. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Steve, between uh, travel and protocols, obviously you haven't had a lot of time to have your hands on them. Uh, I'm curious, have you had this team together long enough to be able to tell how much sharpness they may have lost over the break, or will you have no idea until you tip off tonight? Uh, yeah, uh, I, we have, you know, we, we haven't had enough, you know, last night practicing, you know, we, we scrimmaged a little bit, but it's tough. Like we, you know, you can, you plan with the performance team, you know, after a uh, number of days off, you don't want to overload them last night. So, um, it, you know, I, I'm not entirely confident that I can answer that question. And I think uh, there will be some rust, but uh, hopefully it comes off quickly and and we can still execute at both ends. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I, I know you're not showing on this one, but you guys had a couple of 10-day contracts to expire and, and have some open roster spots. Do you anticipate getting any additional help there in, in the near future or is it going to be this current group for a little bit? Uh, I'd, I'd have to pass that question off to Sean. You know, I think, you know, as coaching staff, we're, we're quite happy with where we are. Um, but I, I couldn't answer that. Uh, I think that's more a question for the front office. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. <clears throat> hey, Steve, I know uh, Blake practiced with you guys. Did, did you, do you sense any, any maybe excitement or a feeling or a mood when you add a guy of that caliber to, to a team that's already a high-level team? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone's excited to have him. He's an experienced, uh, you know, former all-star player. So, he, you know, he's somebody that I think is a great teammate, uh, has high IQ, and, uh, you know, I think the guys are excited to have him, uh, you know, on our roster. You know, he, he's well, – we'll see, you know, how he can impact our team, but he's uh, a talented, intelligent player, and uh, I think our players all really respect him and are excited to have him here. Matt Brooks, that's Daily. Hey, Steve, um, you've obviously had a week off yourself. First off, I know you're going on a, we're thinking about going on a vacation, so I hope you're able to do that. Um, with the time off, was there anything that you've thought about basketball-wise? Is there philosophies you want to try, things like that? Or has this just been a complete break for you? Uh, a bit of both. Spent, you know, I tried to to, to relax and, and rest and, rec you know, recharge. At the same time, it's never too far away. So you're obviously thinking about the team, the state of the team, where we're heading. Um, what we're going to face over the coming months. So uh, a lot of thought put into it as well. Um, you know, 
you know, a, a lot of thought for, for very few actionables. You know, when you, you know, you still have to go through the exercise of thinking, but in the end of the day, you know, we're, we're heading in the right direction and we, it's more so being prepared for when things come up, you know, or, um, you know, almost being prepared or predicting um, adversity and being able to deal with it more soundly when it happens. So, I think we're heading in the right in the right place. We want to continue with all the things that we've started, um, but at the same time, we do think about constantly what what we can do to improve those things. Right now, nothing is has moved us from where we we left off, but we also want to continually, you know, consider what if what if X happens, what if Y happens, and uh, make sure that we're as prepared as possible to handle adversity and put our team in a position to win, regardless of what happens. Steve Lichtenstein, WFAN. Hi, Steve. Uh, spacing on offense is a popular topic. Adding Blake gives you opportunities to create more spacing. Yet you guys are crushing teams when you have Bruce Brown and DeAndre Jordan share the court, two guys who score pre predominantly in the paint. Uh, what did you? What do you make of that? Well, um, you know, teams often double or soft double uh, James and Kyrie. So... You know, that allows Bruce opportunity to, to, to catch in the short roll and attack the basket. And you've got uh, DeAndre camped out there under the basket. So it, it, those two playing two on one or them playing four on three with the two corner shooters, you know, it, it, we found a way to make it work. And, um, you know, it's not it's not going to work every night. It's not going to work all the time. But we've done I thought those two guys have been great. And and they, James has been able to find them a lot. They've been able to find the cracks and the, the, the soft spots in the defense because of the attention that James and Kyrie, um, you know, uh, warrant. So it's, it's nice that we can find a way that it, it that even though, you know, it, we, it's not the same gravity with those two on the floor, we still are able to be really efficient and effective. Thanks coach. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thanks everybody.